my digital footwear design class begins this weekend and the last time i taught it it was a little nerve-wracking because i had to teach it for the ipad without an ipad remember y'all i just got mine and i taught this class in november but i do thank my student for the challenge which i'm happy to say i did rise to and it gave me a newfound respect for Photoshop on the iPad because initially I was like, mm, I'm good. So in the spirit of my upcoming class, I'm gonna show you how to color a hand-drawn footwear sketch in Photoshop on the iPad. And I think this will be a game changer for aspiring footwear designers or even fashion and textile designers who like to doodle or draw by hand. There's something really cool about adding color to your sketches kind of makes them come to life. So let me show you how you can do this. I'm going to open my hand-drawn sketch and like Illustrator on the iPad, you can take a picture, grab it from the photos on your iPad, or if your iCloud files are connected, take it from there. Now, all I'm doing is coloring this picture. So I'm going to need layers, quick selection, the paint bucket, the paintbrush, and the color picker. There are a few other tools I'll throw in along the way, but these are the main ones. The first thing I'm going to do is use the quick selection tool to start selecting the parts of the sketch I want to fill. Tap the area, double tap or tap and drag if it only selects a small portion, and continue tapping in different areas until you've selected everything you want to make the same color. Create a new layer and drag the layer underneath the layer with the sketch. Next, choose a color by clicking on the foreground circle and dragging the circles in the spectrums until you choose the desired color. Then, choose the paint bucket and click inside one of the selected areas to fill. Now you'll notice that even though you can see where I filled the sketch on the layers panel, you can't actually see the color on the sketch. And the reason is because I need to change the blending mode of the sketch layer. Now this is not just for the iPad. This is something I do on the desktop version as well. Blending modes blend the selected layer with the layer below it based on the chosen mode. And there are several modes you can choose from. On the iPad to get the blending modes, click the layer properties icon, then go to blending mode. And for this, we want to change the mode to multiply. As soon as you do, you'll see the color of the layer beneath it come through. Back to coloring, use the quick selection tool again and make your selection, make sure you're on the layer with the sketch, choose a new color, create a new layer, and then using the paint bucket, fill the areas with the new color. Also, be sure to drag the layer you just filled with the color beneath the sketch layer if necessary. As you fill or make a selection, you'll notice that, like Illustrator on iPad, a small menu with more options appear. The first option is to deselect, which you'll tap between switching your selections and filling with color. And don't be afraid to pinch the screen and zoom in for details with smaller selection areas, like this bow. Once you've colored the larger areas, you'll probably still have some smaller areas or small white spots that still need to be colored in. And for this, I switch to the paintbrush and just paint in those areas. Be mindful of the layers and make sure you're on the right layer as you paint in color. When you choose the paintbrush, another small panel appears showing the current foreground color, the size of your brush, the opacity, and the brush hardness. There's also three small dots that bring up an even more extensive menu if you want to apply some additional settings. To change the brush size, click on the number and use the slider to adjust the sizing. Do the same to adjust the hardness, which is how soft or defined you want your brush to be. Then, just start coloring. And if you color a little outside of the line, switch to the eraser right below the brush to erase the extra ink. The 
The last thing I'm going to do is really optional and I do this because normally my sketches end up back in Illustrator on some background that may not be white. So I want to make sure that wherever this sketch ends up, I only see the shoe and not a white background. When I do this from the desktop, I usually just erase the white background using the magic eraser. But there is no magic eraser tool yet on the iPad. So I'm going to create a layer mask on the sketch layer instead. With the quick selection tool, I'm going to tap and drag until the white background is selected. Then invert the selection, which is a function key on the sub menu below the sketch. Lastly, hit the layer mask icon, which will leave you with a transparent background that will allow you to place the shoe on any color background without a white box around it. Now this is a little more manual than what I normally do. I'm used to the shortcuts and being able to breeze through adding color to a sketch like this. But there was something very peaceful about just coloring and drawing, reminding me of the days with my markers. So again, like I said in this video about using Illustrator for the iPad, if you're new to the program and you like hand sketching, You'll probably find this simple, intuitive, and much less intimidating than using Photoshop on the desktop. But if you've been using Photoshop for a while and you're used to the tools and the shortcuts, you might find this a little frustrating. It's definitely not a replacement for me, but I appreciate what it can do. And like I said, I felt very zen while I was coloring my shoe. Thanks for watching today's video. I've got some great online digital design classes, both live and pre-recorded, as well as some great freebies that you can take advantage of. So make sure you check out the links in the description to get more information. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.